Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where today we have a replay that has been sent in by a special member of the community. This is Gambit from the Decoy Clan, so shout out to your clan. And for those that don't know, Gambit is a fellow CC. So with that said, I am not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it, but I will say that he knows what he's doing. And he demonstrates the fact that he knows what he's doing in this game. This is a real treat, this one. So what are we on? We're on Westfield. And what are we in? We're in the Lorraine 40T, which is a personal favourite of mine. I have two marked this tank. I like it that much. We're on Westfield. And he has decided to take the K line, which is not what I would do, typically. Um... Whenever I play Westfield on the southern spawn, I always got the one line or the two line. Because I struggle to play this line. But, as you can see here, Gambit is having absolutely no problems whatsoever. Six shots are fired. Six shots go in. And six shots do damage. So, six, just under 1700 damage. And we're, eh, two and a half minutes into the game. Not bad going. First reload is almost done. What have we got to shoot at here? We have a Type 69 that is almost 900 meters away. Very nice shot there, sir. Beautiful. Taking that one across the... Basically across the entire map. Are we going to take the 69 again? No. Oh, PT... Oh, PT... Oh, PT 76. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't... Oh, PT 76 didn't move. Oh, Oh, I do feel f <laughs> PT-76. Oh, goodness me. Anyway, this video isn't about the PT-76. <laughs> this one's about Gambit in the Lorraine. Two shots left in the clip. Type 69's pushed into the field again. He, he's taken his first shot. His first return, return fire there. Final shot of the clip goes into the E3. So there we go. We have had We've had 12 shots fired. And we've got 12 pens for a little over 3,400 damage. That's really not bad going, if we're being honest. So while we're reloading here, let's take a look at the minimap. We have the northwest corner is a bit busy with Gambit's platoon mate getting, I would say, probably um, overwhelmed, out well, outnumbered, I would say, outnumbered in the northwest. And this E3 isn't having a good time. I... Yeah, that that's... Uh, that's 18 shots fired and 17 pens. And he didn't miss that one. That one that's missing, he didn't miss. It, it just did module damage or it bounced. I can't remember. So... Uh, Gambit's a sharpshooter. We'll say that much. <laughs> but another thing to look at in the minimap something to pay attention to is look at the size of his detection circle for a medium of this size that is a very small detection circle and I had to ask him what what's your equipment setup what's your crew setup because this is a very unique way to play the, in my opinion it's a very unique way to play the Lorraine so he told me I'll put it on the screen what it's got so you guys can see as well but basically his setup is equipment Advanced optics, gun stabilizer, advanced concealment, number one, advanced concealment, number one, enhanced target info. Skills on the crew, born leader, rapid loading, steady aim, snapshot, camouflage expertise, number two, sixth sense, muffled shot, number three, situational awareness and silent driving for number four. So there are four elements in this game that are playing into the setup that he has got going right now. He is very difficult to detect. And look at where that light tank is on the K-line. If he hadn't had this setup, that light tank would have spotted him. And he would have taken return fire before this point. And that's 69 sitting side on in the field. Yeah, I wouldn't do that personally. But we're on another reload now. So... What is making this game possible? His equipment and crew setup is what's making this game. Like, yes, the player does matter. 
map positioning does matter. Of course, all these things matter, but sometimes there are certain aspects of the game that will have greater weighting to them for performance than other things. And that 4005 Pop Smoke drove through it and then fired, which made it a very easy job for Gambit to take him out there. Centurion 2 backing up very slowly. Last shot of the clip. One return shot and one return shot comes in. But we are now just under 7700 damage with two kills and the game is close. Three versus five. Oh, but he's got he's got tanks to his rear. He's got tanks ahead, well ahead of him as he's looking here. He's in a bit of a tight spot because even though it's three versus five, which, you know, it's not a loss, his teammates are in the low ground. And it's, it's you know, it's well known that low ground is not a tactical advantage. High ground is the tactical advantage. So he is the only one on his team that has the elevation advantage. And that's a full health 4,005. And he's taking return shots. He's taking he's taken enemy fire from the left. <laughs> so he's got a full health 4,005 this way. And enemy fire coming from that way. It's... Oh. Although I suppose from, it would be that way, wouldn't it, for you guys? Yeah, on the screen that way. <laughs> but here's another example of how his tank and crew setup come into play. Because he gets the spot on the T-44 who doesn't spot him because he is... The T-44 is just outside his detection circle. If he didn't have this crew and equipment set up, his detection circle would have been bigger. The T-44 would have seen him. And he sets the T-44 nicely on fire there. Good job. And he's still taking return fire from the same position. He's going to have to do something. He can't sit here. He's reload. Yeah, there you go. He's a one-shot. He has got to go. He's got to move. Otherwise, he's dead. Kill shot there, missed. I heard that fly past. What's he going to do? There's the second kill shot that flies past. I think it's at this point he realizes, okay, I need to do something drastic. I can't go back to my team on the K line because they're in the low ground. We'll just be, you know, shooting fish in a barrel down there. I can't go up the 9 0 line because they've got at least three tanks that way. One of them being a, you know, the 4005 almost full health. You've got to do something drastic. You've got to think outside the box. And that's exactly what Gambit's done here. He has driven straight down the middle of the valley. At the very bottom of the valley. He didn't get detected. Likely because of his, again, his equipment and crew setup. And what that has done is it's enabled him to take up a position that will be the enemy team. The last place they're going to expect to get shot from is behind them. Because in their head, they're thinking, I came from that way. There's nothing over there. There's nothing to worry about. And as you can see, the 4005, his, his barrel's just, whoop, he's off looking somewhere else. And is he gonna, is Gambit going to move? He's going to get shot. He's going to get shot. No. Okay. All right. It's noise. It's nice when a 4005 sits there, lets you shoot them, and then doesn't shoot you. That... <laughs> That is always very nice. I, I, I like it when the 4005 does that. <laughs> but now, now the enemy team knows he's over here. Or at least the 4005 does. And, well, really, he is a one, he's a one-shot for anything. He's a, he's a definite one-shot for the 4005. So he's now got to play the northwestern corner of the map. I think that's the third missed kill shot. Could be wrong. Oh, there's... That's... A, that's the Centurion 2. Didn't fully aim that shot, but it still found its mark. Risk taking it again. 14... 14 hit points on the Centurion 2. This... RNG was on his side there, letting those... Let not, that, that shot... Those shots weren't fully aimed, but they still found the target. That's... That's RNG... On his side there, that's for sure. So now we're clearing the top, the northwest corner of the map needs to be cleared because we need to know where the enemy, the enemy tanks are. From memory, they have an E3 left, a Centurion 2, Type 69, and a 4005. 
What the health of those tanks are, I don't know. The 4005 was almost full health. The Centurion 2 was a one-shot. The 69, I can't remember. And the E3, I don't think we've seen, so I don't actually know. He's got four rounds left in his clip. He checked the southern line of sight, didn't see anything. Coming back to the northern tip of the map to try and look back across the valley at where the Centurion 2 was. Chances... Ah, oh, the Centurion 2 has moved. Yes, I think he has, but this is very sensible play. He's he's not driving in the open. He is checking the long lines of sight for, for any any kind of movement, anything that doesn't belong. And one thing you can do is well, this is I guess this is a real life principle as well. Nature doesn't come with straight lines. Tanks and man made objects tend to have straight lines. And in, in, in this case, tanks have straight lines, especially tank barrels, for example. They're just straight lines. So you want to look for anything geometrically that is out of the ordinary. You want to look for things that are not natural. Again, checking the line of sight there down to the southeastern corner. The 4005 is going to be over there. Cresting the ridge here, and he gets spotted. He's targeted. He can't. He can't go for the E3 because he's targeted. Fifth? Is that the fourth or fifth kill shot that's missed? I've lost count. I can't remember. But now he knows where the E3 is. The TVP 5051 is moving in the bottom, in the southwestern corner of the map. He is moving, and I I suspect he's. There's a bit of low ground down there, and I suspect he is sitting in the low ground. There's the E3. Aim the shot, and it goes out, and it kills the E3. The E3 doesn't spot him. Why? Because of his crew and equipment setup. These And these are the little parts of the game that add up to create the results that Gambit's going to get. Not being seen means that you can put a shot out and get a kill. It also means that the enemy team doesn't know where you are to shoot you back. And that's incredibly important, especially in this case, when you've only got 101 hit points. That is very, very important. So this, this game is bringing a lot of important tanking aspects. This is a culmination of a lot of important aspects. And this is a, this is a really good demonstration of smart gameplay. Talking of smart gameplay, map awareness. He has checked the northwestern corner of the map. He is now going to have to check the eastern side of the map because if you can't see from west to east, the only the next move then is to go, well, if I can't see that way, I've got to move so I can see the other way because they've got to be hiding somewhere. They're not invisible. They're going to be around here somewhere. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's checking the zero line. He's checking the eastern side of the map, peeking the corner, because the 4005 was around here somewhere. Where is his... There he is. Again, not looking. Oh, 4005 not looking. And that, sh that shot looked like it would have clipped the grass on the way through. That was, that was like... Ooh, straight through. <laughs> that was very tight, that shot. Enemy team is capping. Four shots left in the clip. Nine shots in reserve. So that is one and a half clips. One minute on the clock. No time to waste now. He's got to make a decision. He's got to decide on where he's going to go. That way is going to expose him to the 4005. So again, map awareness. Playing it smart. You need to push the 9-0 line, but don't do it predictably. Do it in a way that is unpredictable. Take the low ground, which is exactly what he's doing here. So, the 50-51 has reset the cap because we're back up. Oh no, sorry, no, I got the timers mixed up there. We're on 25 seconds. 25 seconds. Centurion 2 has gone. It's a 2 versus 2. The 4005 is going to be on his left. Any sec... There's the 4005. There's the kill shot on the 4005. Ten seconds on the clock. What's left? I believe it's the T44. There's the T44. That shot misses, but... There's the kill. 
There's the kill. All tanks destroyed before the timer. And I have watched this game before, and I timed this. That kill shot was 0.3 seconds before the 15 minutes were up. So Gambit did 11,660 damage, and his teammate in the TVP got the last kill 0.3 seconds before the clock ran out. That's a mastery, confederate, four kills, over 10,000 damage. 10,000 damage in era one is superb, doesn't matter what tank you're in. 10,000 damage is absolutely superb. Well played, Gambit, and thank you very much for sending that replay in. All right, guys, that is all I have for this one. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a like, if not a dislike. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.